Landmines and jellyfish, welcome back to Knives, I guess, and there's probably a duck on a farm somewhere that has the same name as you. So, whilst on my long sojourn home from my place of employment, I decided to stop by Walmart, and the first one I stopped at had nothing of interest. However, <clears throat> the second one finally had them. We have got the Ozark Trail Axis Lock Knives. Now, they call it the shaft lock, but the last time my shaft got locked, I barely made it out of the misses. So, we're going to open these, and I would have done the one-minute mad scramble, but these packages always take a while, and I don't feel like uh, putting myself through that uh, over the course of two uh, unboxing times. So, what we're going to do is employ the services of the ever-present unboxing knife, and uh, we're going to get these things out of the box and see what I think of them. And... Uh, you know, I've been looking for these things for months, and they finally had Christmas displays out that had them in there. So, uh, I am definitely excited. Um, I want to check these out. You know, these have, of course, been a little bit of a hype knife for a while. But, like you guys know, I love a good cheap knife. And honestly, these would have been in the Super Budget Showdown if I could have found, could have found them. So, you know, just kind of patience pays off. But also, I really, really feel bad that I couldn't get it on there um, in time. And see what I mean? These, these things are difficult to open. I hate dealing with them, but, you know, it's a, it's a $5 knife. Um, and uh, get out of there. Get out of there. There we are. And, gentlemen, we have a reservoir tip. So we're going to get this one out, and we're going to get the second one out, too, uh, before playing with them. Because, like, I messed with the access locks while I was standing there in Walmart trying to pick the best one out. And they were all kind of sticky, but they were also hitting the cardboard on the back of the package right here so I couldn't really get a good feel for them so we're gonna find out what that's all about oh I hate this packaging so much you guys I legitimately do um, it's no fun like they, they could have done something that you could open um, but Walmart is also like the king of being shoplifted so I can't understand why they didn't but time okay so let's take a look at these and see what my first impression of them is but uh you got this right here. You got a uh, an axis lock. You got thumb studs. Uh, your blade, give or take three inches long. The blade steel is not marked. Let's look at the back of the packaging and see if there's anything there. Um, four inch polypropylene handle, um, and I will say it's very lightweight. Uh, three inch stainless steel blade, shaft lock, pocket clip, and uh, that's it. So there's no specs on the steel. I'm gonna assume three CR or something along those lines. But, uh, you know, it's a $5 knife. How much can you expect? All right. Let's, uh, ooh, this thing is stiff. My God. Wow. So the access lock at full open locks up against the, uh, the flipper tab of the blade and uh, keeps it from opening. Like, that is, uh, yeah, you see that? It just locks up. So not impressed with that so far. Um, let's try to flick off the thumb stud. Let's flick the bean. Eh. So it did flick off of the thumb stud, but it still feels really gummy. Um, so this one, it may be just a bad one or a bat from a bad batch, but right in here, let's see if we can get some better light on it. Right in here along that flipper tab, it sticks. Let's try the flipper tab. Let's flick the bean again. Eh. Yeah, that's really slow and gummy. That is a ton of resistance. Let's try this one out, see if it's any better. Um, all right, access lock bean flick. Eh. So this one does flip out better, um, but it's still very, very stiff. And I saw Watch City Knives play with these things, and he had kind of the same thing going on. I don't know if I'm going to have to take this apart and work on it to see if I can't get the, get this uh, uh, flipper tab from uh, hanging up on the, uh, the access lock. This is just dumb. Um, I am very much not impressed with this one. I mean, it's still functional. It's still going to do what you need it to do as a knife, but um, yeah. This one is no bueno, um, and I don't want to have to go back to Walmart and get another one just to see if I got a bad one from the batch. So um, I guess we're stuck with it. And uh, yeah, it just locks up against this thing. This is just, ah, I'm so disappointed with this one. So uh, we got this disappointment that I may not mess with at all. But this one's a little bit better. Let's flick this thing open again. Eh, it is so, so stiff. Uh, let me see if I can see if we got bearings in here. Um, I think these might be on washers, which is probably part of the problem right there. 
we're going to drop some hops number nine in it and see if that does any good. So, yeah, like I get it. Five dollar access lock. However, let's uh, see what the oil did. The oil's got it working again a little better. However, um, this thing is still really, really rough. It's really rough around the edges. Uh, I mean, for five bucks, it's okay. You know, I won't be mad at something like this for five bucks. This one, however, um, yeah, I just, I hate the fact that it locks up. You know, it's really hard to flip it open and close with the access lock. It's basically a, a liner lock with extra steps at this point. But, again, five dollars. I guess let's test the edge. Um, let's get some paper. Let's see what the factory did to the edge. Maybe that'll make up for some of this. Oh, wow. So... There's a bit of a, an edge problem in the middle here, but Jesus. Yeah, this thing is sharp. Let's do that again. I got another piece of paper here. Let's try for a longer cut. Wow. Okay, so with the factory edge, I am a little impressed. Let's try the factory edge on this one. Let's flick it open. Oh, yeah, that is so stiff and gummy. Good God. Yeah, these guys are sharp, Lord Almighty. So the factory edge does make up for a little bit of it. Um, however, the mystery hot dog steel and the really stiff action on these access locks, um, yeah, this one, yeah, this one is so hard to flick open. It's so hard. Um, you know, using it as a regular thumb stud, not a problem, but trying to flick this thing open is going to be a bit of a headache. This one right here, um, you know, you definitely have to practice with it to get used to the access lock and, and getting it past this hang-up point. And uh, somehow, I don't think that this is just a bad one. I think that's endemic to all these things. So, what are my thoughts here? Um, for $5, worth it. Um, I've done quite a bit quite a bit worse for $13, $14. Bucks. So, these are good value for the money. Um, the pocket clips are both deep carry and they are tip-up, which is the Lord's carry. This one can be reversed for left-handed and right-handed carry. This one cannot. But, you know, as far as like a serious knife guy knife, yeah, no. Um, still, five bucks, good value for money. But, you know, this is one of those, it is definitely abuse and abandon. It is toolbox truck. It is, I forgot my knife. You're traveling with it for a whole week. Maybe if this one gets broken in and starts functioning like a normal access lock, sure. But, like, this is really bad for a flick off an axis lock. So, uh, you know, you may be able to loosen the pivot and do something with it because there is absolutely no blade rattle. There is no uh, lock rock. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, the, the blade is quite well centered. Um, they, they got a lot right. It's just the parts that they got wrong, they really got wrong. Um, so I'm going to give these like a 6 out of 10. They got a lot right, but the things they got wrong are pretty big. And, uh, you know, they're kind of hard to, to overlook. This one, much easier to overlook. This one, not so much. Um, the flipper tab on it works well enough. Just, eh. It, it does work, and it works uh, better than trying to flick this one. But uh, get that lock hitting at the wrong spot um, is, is a big problem for me. Let's try a thumb stud flick. Flick the beam. Eh. So this one does flick open and close a little easier than this one. It's just closing it the way you normally close an access lock don't work. Let's flick the beam. Yeah. So that would definitely be a little practice, but it's doable. You can carry this. You can put it to work. But for me, having that lock stick right there is a almost a deal breaker. But for the, the price is the only thing saving it from this being a complete fail. So I do like this one better. You know, if you see one, grab one, play around with it. Um, I may take these apart and start learning how to put access locks back together, but um, that's the Ozark Trail access lock knives. I'm glad I finally found them. I probably am going to carry them for a couple of days so I can come back and let you know how they did with uh, quality of life and everything else. But, um, yeah, that was an adventure trying to get these, and I have been looking for months. So, all that being said, I know I rambled quite a bit while I was trying to get a, get a feel for these things, but... Thank you for looking at my crap. Uh, thank you for the subscribers. More are coming in all the time. I'm so grateful. Uh, it is humbling. Uh, thank you for the comments. I enjoy feedback. And all that being said, y'all have a nice day.